know that my heart is is with all of you as you are gathering at uh, Temple Beth Shalom to Rabbi uh, Goodstein. Thank you. Thank you for bringing so many together in solidarity for Israel. I am not with you this evening. I'm in Fairbanks, but but again, my heart is with you. My heart is with the people of Israel, with the families of those who, who have lost their loved ones. For those who are so anxiously awaiting news of their loved ones, and of course, those who have had their loved ones taken by hostage. Our, our hearts are heavy with the anxiety and, and just the raw emotion of this moment. We cannot unsee what we are watching unfold on the TV, uh, through the social media, the atrocities, the brutality that we have witnessed since Saturday by the Hamas terrorists is, is, is unimaginable and it is unforgivable. We unequivocally, we unequivocally must support Israel. We must support Israel in their right to defend their people from, from these brutal, brutal terrorist attacks. So I want to assure all those gathered, all Alaskans, all, all throughout our country, I stand with you and America, America stands with you. We must be absolutely unwavering. We must be ironclad in, in our commitment to Israel. But, but as words of support are important, vitally important, they must be matched with our deeds and our actions, not just rhetoric. In briefings with the Defense Department, we've been assured uh, by the military and the intelligence communities uh, that they are in constant contact with the Israeli Defense Forces and the assurance that the United States is ready to assist. In Congress, funding for Israel must be a priority. It must be a top priority, <clears throat> and we must move quickly. As we all know, Congress is, is in a bit of, a, of its own chaos right now, but we must set that aside. We must come together. The administration is going to be advancing shortly a supplemental budget to include support for Israel. We need to advance that financial package very quickly, as quick as possible, so that we assure that military equipment, uh, munitions, uh, all that Israel needs to, uh, to support Iron Dome so that it is ready to, to basically reload and, and defend. Um, the IDF needs to have the resources that it needs and it needs them quickly. As members of the Senate, uh, we have been briefed just this past week by the Department of Defense uh, by those in the State Department and the intelligence community uh, with the diplomatic efforts that are ongoing, the DOD support uh, for Israel and, and our direct engagement. These have been outlined to us and we will have additional briefings um, in these next matter of days. Now with some 16,000 uh, requests for help, um, from those in country coming uh, to us here in the States. And with so many open questions at this moment in time, know that your congressional delegation is, is at the ready to assist in any way that we possibly can with information, with contacts, with updates. So we, uh, we are there and we all know 
we all know that the situation on the ground is, is changing daily. It's changing uh, by the hour and, and is extremely fragile. Efforts to prevent an emergence of a second front uh, will likely shape the, the direction of things to come. Uh, Iran's role in organizing and facilitating uh, the, Ham the Hamas uh, terrorists uh, will be front and center. Um, here, here at home, domestically, we see um, uh, a, a, a surge of anti-Semitism around our state. Uh, to know, to know that in these gatherings here in Alaska, levels of security detail and, and protection are are required is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking to acknowledge this. So in addition to all that will be required from our government, we need prayers from our people. We need prayers for the people of Israel. I want to thank again all those for gathering in solidarity as we as we watch with, with horror and concern this ongoing, unfolding tragedy. We are, we are always better when we are together and we work together and know that my commitment is to continue to do that for the people of Israel our country's strongest and most faithful ally. Be well and God bless.